Howdy. In this video, we're going to talk about Taylor series. Now, Taylor series scare a lot of people, but if you break it down and take a step back just for a second, they're actually pretty straightforward. It's going to be up to you to have good pattern recognition skills. So, the general formula for a Taylor series is as follows. It's the sum from 0 to infinity of f to the n of a times x minus a to the n over n factorial. And you're always going to be given, you'll always be given some f of x centered at some x equals a. And why that's important is because x minus a to the n, that's just plug a into there. n factorial is just, well, n factorial. There's only one thing you need to find, and that's f to the n of a. If you can find f to the n of a, we just plug it in, and you're done. Now what is f to the n of a? f to the n of a, this is going to be the pattern of derivatives at that x equals a, whatever it may be. So if you can find the pattern, you just plug that into here, and you're done. So let's go through a problem. So taking a look at this, this is find the Taylor series for the function f of x equals 3 over x centered at x equals 2. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write out my general formula. So this is going to be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of f to the n of 2 times x minus 2 to the n over n factorial. So what I need to do next is off to the side, let's find f to the n of 2. Because if I can find f to the n of 2, I plug it in, and I'm done. So remember, it's a pattern of derivatives. So I'm going to rewrite f of x really quick as 3x to the negative 1. That way it's easy for me to take the derivative. So let's take the derivative several times until we start to see a pattern. And so f prime is going to be a negative 3x to the negative 2. Now don't simplify. And what I mean by that is f double prime, this will be a positive 3 times 2 x to the negative 3. My third derivative is going to be a negative 3 times 2 times 3 x to the negative 4. I think I'm starting to see a pattern go, but let's do one more just to be safe. Our fourth derivative is going to be a positive 3 times 2 times 3 times 4 x to the negative 5, and I think I see the pattern. Let's first find f to the n of x. And so f to the n of x is simply a pattern of derivatives at any x value. Well, first thing I notice is that I'm alternating by negative, positive, negative, positive. I can take that into account with a negative 1 to the n. Also notice, you have a, oops, you have a 3 in front of everything. Since I have a 3 in front of everything, be 3. Now your first derivative, just as a heads up, this is when n is equal to 1. Second derivative is n equals 2. Third derivative, n equals 3. Fourth derivative, n equals 4. And notice here for n equals 4, I have a 2 times 3 times 4. That's 4 factorial. 2 times 3, that's 3 factorial. 2, that's 2 factorial. What you have, you've got an n factorial. And then take a look at your x's. Look how this is x to the negative 3. x to the negative 4, x to the negative 5. Those are all one more than that n value. This will be x raised to the negative n plus 1, which, since it's a negative exponent, I can always put that on bottom to where this is negative 1 to the n times 3 times n factorial over x to the n plus 1. And if this is f to the n of x, if you want to find f to the n of 2, you plug 2 into x. And so, f to the n of 2 is simply going to be negative 1 to the n times 3 times n factorial all over 2 to the n plus 1. And now that I have that f to the n of 2, we plug it in and simplify. And so your Taylor series is going to be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity, f to the n of 2, this is negative 1 to the n, 3, n factorial, over 2 to the n plus 1. So there's your f to the n of 2, but don't forget, you still have this x minus 2 to the n, 
in this n factorial there on bottom. And notice that in this situation, the n factorials cancel. They don't always cancel because you don't always have a factorial, but in this case they did. And so your final answer, your Taylor series for this function, centered at 2, would be the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of negative 1 to the n times 3 times x minus 2 to the n all over, all over 2 to the n plus 1. And this is how you're going to find a Taylor series for any function centered at any number.